In case you haven't noticed, electric pickups are finally coming, and in numbers. Many people may perceive pickups as large, inefficient dinosaurs, but these indispensable vehicles are right for electrification. Their sheer size and the nature of the work they are supposed to do means that it is much easier to pack a large battery and a torque-rich engine under the skin of an electric pickup truck. Do you want to know more about these electric pickup trucks that are going to hit the US streets soon? Then stay with us till the end of the video to find out some unknown facts about these outstanding electric pickup trucks. The pandemic has ensured that we will not see the production of electric pickups, but it seems that soon the first modern EV pickups will be sold. Here's what we know about every future electric pickup truck going down the pipeline, arranged in chronological order according to the expected performance. It's not Chevrolet, Ford, GMC or Ram that are coming to the market with the first electric pickup. Instead, the American Rivian is expected to attack first. Rivian's goal is to be what Tesla is on the road for electric power in the field. To this end, the R1T is equipped with four rotary engine motors capable of delivering power independently of each wheel, plus height adjustable air suspension and optional accessories such as a winch set and a camp kitchen. Rivian's party piece is the tank rotation feature, which allows him to rotate around his axis like a tank on belts. When launched, the R1T electric pickup truck will be available with 300 mile and 400 mile battery packs and is expected to produce more than 800 horsepower and 900 pound per feet of torque. It will have four doors, five seats and a padded bed of 4.5 feet. It also boasts 11.7 cubic feet and a new 12.4 cubic foot transmission tunnel in an otherwise wasted space between the rear seats and the bed. Rivian says the R1T will be designed to tow up to 11,000 pounds and has a payload of 1,760 pounds. Prices are expected to start at about 67,500 before the target, which the car maker has not announced yet. Moving on, few of us had a Hummer return on their 2020 bingo cards, but we're here. Hummer returns as an electric pickup living in the GMC family with a large flashy advertisement sponsored by LeBron James. The new GMC Hummer EV 2021 will be Detroit's first volley into the electric sensor space and it looks like the Hummer EV will make a big first impression. Like Rivian and the Hummers that preceded him, field performance is the name of the game for the Hummer EV. If the Hummer's 18-inch wheels are wrapped in 35-inch off-road tyres, its rock rails or adaptive air suspension do not make it clear that its crabwalk function uses four-wheel steering to move sideways around obstacles. The 1,000-horsepower three-engine GMC is expected to charge more than 350 miles. The Hummer has a five-foot bed, but the GMC is not yet talking about towing or valuable data. Prices will start at $112,595, although the base level model of $79,995 is expected to join the offer in 2024. Did you notice any topic here? Like the R1T and Hummer EV, the Bollinger B2 electric pickup is designed to thrive in the off-road operation cycle. Handmade B2, inspired by vintage Land Rover Defenders, is intended for work and play. Longer than its length, 207.5 inches. At the front, the Bollinger boasts a payload of 5,000 pounds, a six-foot bed with a middle gate and a removable rear seat to extend the bed to eight feet. And the front trunk with a tailgate allows the B2 to carry items. At the front are two built-in engines, good for a combined output of 614 horsepower. A two-speed transfer case, providing all-wheel drive gantry axles with front and rear differential lock and hydro-pneumatic suspension. Expected prices to start about $125,000 when B2 goes on sale shortly. Tentative schedules for the end of winter 2021. Unsurprisingly, the first electric pickup designed purely for work came from Ford. The new F-150 Lightning will be Ford's third electric car after the Mustang Mach-E SUV and the E-Transit delivery after it went on sale in the spring of 2022. 
The Lightning, part of the F-150 family, is designed for towing and hauling and offers a payload of 2,000 pounds, a load capacity of 400 pounds and a towing capacity of up to 10,000 pounds. The F-150 Lightning is only available in the ever-popular cab short bed configuration and will come standard with twin-engine all-wheel drive. It will produce 426 horsepower and 775 pounds per feet of torque with a standard battery or 563 horsepower and 775 pounds of torque with an extended battery. The standard battery is estimated to have a range of about 230 miles, while the optional battery will help the F-150 Lightning travel about 300 miles on a single full charge. F-150 Lightning prices start at $41,669. Say whatever you want about Tesla's Cybertruck, but don't confuse it with anything else. The wedge-shaped Cybertruck inspired by naval Zumwalt-class stealth destroyers, the Air Force's stealth F-117 Nighthawk attack aircraft and the Cyberpunk Fantasy is an interesting interpretation of a four-door electric pickup, a peak roof and massive sails. It is flowing down a 6.5-foot bed. If you've gotten this far, be sure to smash the subscribe button for more awesome content. Tesla plans to offer three different power units for Cybertruck. The base model will include a single rear engine with a range of 250 miles. The twin engine version offers a range of 300 miles and the three engine powertrain is said to provide 500 miles. And if the numbers for the new Model S Plaid remain, we're talking 1,020 horsepower and 1,050 pound per feet. Tesla says the Cybertruck will be able to tow up to 14,000 pounds and carry up to 3,500 pounds, with prices starting at less than $40,000. We think the Cybertruck will go into production sometime around the winter of 2022, although Tesla is known for product delays. It is worth noting that Tesla is not yet finishing the factory in Texas where the electric pickup is supposed to be built. If Cybertruck is futuristic, Canoe Pickup is a return to the past. With a front-wheel drive, front-end Jeep FC and Volkswagen, the future Canoe Electric Pickup is expected to be the second car of the startup after its lifestyle vehicle. The Canoe Sensor will have an extended 2 plus 2 cab with a 6-foot bed, which is said to be expandable to 8 feet. Canoe is not yet talking about towing capacity, but it says the pickup can pull up to 1.8 thousand pounds. Power will be provided by a 300 horsepower and 332 pound feet rear engine, while all wheel drive versions will offer up to 600 horsepower and 550 pounds per feet, thanks to the addition of a front engine. Canoe says his pickup's 80 kilowatt battery is good for a range of about 200 kilometers in a twin engine version. Prices are expected to start between $35,000 and $50,000 when sales begin in the spring of 2023. GMC may be the first GM brand to receive an electric pickup, but the Bowtie brand will not be so behind. The 2024 version of the Chevrolet Silverado is expected in late 2023 or early 2024. The Silverado EV will run on the same platform as the GMC Hummer EV, will most likely be available with single engine rear wheel drive and twin engine all wheel drive. While the GMC Hummer is fairly flashy, we think the Silverado Electric will be much more conservatively styled. It will have a massive 24 inch wheels and a four wheel drive. We expect at least two different batteries and a range of up to 350 miles. Even though electrified versions of the Ram ProMaster already exist in Europe, the Ram 1500 electric will be the first Ram EV sold on the brand's domestic market. While crosstown rivals at Ford and GM have decided that the F-150 Lightning and Silverado EV will look like regular trucks, the electric Ram 1500 will target the Rivian R1T and Tesla Cybertruck's world with a big, bold, futuristic style. Expect bold specifications to match the look of the new Ram EV. 
the Ram 1500 EV will have a range of around 500 miles with a battery offering 159 to 200 kilowatt hours, making them one of the giant batteries on the market. The new Ram will run on Stellantis STLA electric platform and will likely be available with a single rear engine and a twin engine all-wheel drive. Something in the electric pickup space seems to attract startups with a lot of promise and little in the way of actual production plans. Lordstown Motors, which want to build a modified workhorse W15 pickup at GM's old factory in Ohio, is under investigation by the SEC. Nicola, who promised to build a Badger pickup, was also the subject of SEC attention. Others, such as Atlas with his XT and Alpha with his Wolf, made big flashy announcements, but as far as we know, we haven't shown any metal in the body yet. You may enjoy this video here. Until next time, thank you for watching.